I think that there's a disconnect between what students think they need to know in order to be successful when they graduate and what employers think students need to know. Um, our office is kind of a conduit of information, so we try to uh, talk to employers and talk to students to kind of relay information back and forth from each party. But sometimes the message gets misconstrued. Sometimes the students don't hear the message. Um, and we really rely on faculty and staff on campus to help us get that message across too. And so we're just kind of one cog in the larger clock of getting students to um, graduation and into their employer. I think students need to start thinking about their holistic career development, frankly, before they even set foot on a college campus, whether it's Cabrini or any other institution. Start conversations with families um, about their skill sets, what they're good at, what their strengths are, what's going to make them successful, and move forward on that when they come to Cabrini or whatever college they go to. Um, be involved. You know, assume leadership roles and roles of responsibility. Get internships. Get out in the real world and get real world experience to help develop those analytical critical thinking skills. Students these days are very technology driven. They're more so focused on technology instead of learning what their skills should be. Um, does it scare me? A little bit, but you know, I'm willing to go above and beyond to try and push past that. A lot of the students that I'm personally friends with aren't as involved as other students. And I feel like the reason I so, feel like I'm so prepared for the real world is because of all the activities I've been involved in. And it makes me more prepared to prepared to be professional in a way. Students sometimes hear what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. And so sometimes I think we have a lot of information and a lot of resources for students within our office, but also across campus. A lot of offices want students to be successful, but sometimes students aren't ready to be successful until they're ready. And sometimes that's after they graduate. Sometimes that's not until senior year. Sometimes that's, um, you know, freshman year students. You know, we have a lot of go-getters that come through our office. So I think it just depends on the college working to find out what each student's readiness period is, if you will, and then working with them at that point. Uh, the Lead Strong program and the activities that I've done during that have prepared me a lot with the resume building and interviews and all the other things that they um, do. I can honestly say almost every department has something for somebody here that will help them be prepared for life, whether it's only in life or only in career or a mix of both.